Hey YouTube, today is the day before football season so we're going to go ahead and uh, bottle up our wine coolers today. This is our sugar wash. It started at a, at a 1.070 reading and it finished up at a 0.995. So that's around 9.5% alcohol. Once we add our juice to it, that'll bring it down a little bit. They're going to be about 8% alcohol, I'm figuring. Um, anyway, just want to give a shout out to my Seahawks. Go Hawks! So here's the flavors of wine coolers we're going to make. We're going to make limeade, a lemonade, a pineapple, a cherry pomegranate, going to do some out of orange juice, see how that turns out. This is just kind of an experiment here. Some raspberry lemonade, some fruit punch, and some pink lemonade. And if we have enough left, I'll go, I'm going to try some iced tea. So those are the flavors we're going to use. As you can see, you just use just juice concentrate that you buy in the store. and. Uh, with that, the instructions say to add three cans of water, but instead of three cans of water, we're going to add three cans of our sugar wash instead. Okay, so today we're going to use our bottling tree, our sink. We're going to need a, a bottle brush and uh, some bottles. We're going to wash all those up first, make sure they're all clean. There's no gunk down inside of them. Take your bottle and put it in the sink and run your brush down in it. Make sure you get around the bottom real well. Scrub the inside of it out. And then rinse the bottle really, really well. You want to make sure there's no soap residue left in it. Make sure you rinse it out really well. And then stick it on your bottle tree. And you just keep doing all your bottles. Today I'm figuring we're going to need about 80 bottles for our wine coolers. Right around there, 80 to 90 bottles. So, just one of the most important things is to make sure you get all the soap out. So make sure you're rinsing your bottles really well and then we're going to sanitize them. And once I get all these washed and clean, I will uh, show you how to sanitize. Here's the sanitizer I use. It's called Star San. It's a food grade sanitizer. You can use bleach, boiling water, however you want to sanitize things. It's a no rinse sanitizer. You just make sure that it touches all surfaces of the of the whatever you're sanitizing, and then you just let it dry, and it's all sanitized. Okay, so I've got it pre-measured. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in my bucket here. And then we're going to go over to the sink. Put this in the sink here. Get our water in there. Fill it up with some water. It's going to bubble up really good. And this sanitizer is reusable. You can put it in an airtight container and reuse it. I usually just use it for one day and then dump it out. Um, but lots of people put it in an airtight container and reuse it. So we're just going to go ahead and rinse out this bucket and go from there. So you just take the bucket and you, as you're dumping it out, I just turn the bucket. As you're dumping it out into the sink, make sure it touches all sides and every surface of the inside of the bucket and then your bucket's all sanitized. Sanitize our siphoning tube. I just take and I make sure it touches all the outer parts of the, the tube. And then I'll just take it and pump it, make sure that the sanitizer runs through the tube. And then uh, we'll drain all of that out. And then that's all sanitized. And then I'm just gonna set it in our bucket over here that we have sanitized. We're also going to use this little bucket today. This is what we're going to use to mix our wine coolers in. So we'll go ahead and sanitize that. Just make sure that it touches all surfaces of that. Now that's all sanitized. Set that aside. We're going to use a funnel to dump the, the wine coolers into the bottles. Normally with wine you don't, don't use this. You want to keep the air out of the wine, but with the wine coolers it don't hurt. 
So that's all sanitized. We'll throw it in our bucket. And then we're going to use a spoon to stir it with. So we're going to go ahead and sanitize that spoon real well. Here, you just take your bottle once it's washed real well. You just take it, put it in sanitizer, shake it. And then you'll put it on your bottling tree to dry. And uh, you'll do that with all your bottles here. Make sure you get all your bottles sanitized. And then they'll be ready. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and we'll be back. Okay, so we got our sugar wash up here on the counter and our bottling bucket down here. So we're going to siphon it from there down to here with our siphoning tube. What you're going to siphon it into has to be lower the gravity. You know how siphoning works. So we're going to go ahead and pull our airlock off. Set that aside. Take our sanitized siphoning tube. Shove it down in there. And then you just take and you pump it a couple of times and it's going to start siphoning down into the bucket. And it's just going to siphon from there down into the bucket now. So we're going to go ahead and let that siphon down. It takes a few minutes to do that. It's just continuing to siphon and then as it gets to the bottom you'll want to tilt it to one side so you can get as much out of the jug as you can. One thing I also forgot to mention is before you do this you want to uh, kill off the yeast. So you use potassium metabisulfite and potassium sorbate. I'll go over that in another video, but that's what you use to kill off the yeast so it doesn't re-ferment and blow up your bottles. You've got to make sure you do that before you bottle this and add more sugar to it. We're just going to continue until it's all down in the bucket. And as you can see, there's some leaves at the bottom that's what they call the sediment you don't want to suck that up once you get down there you're just going to cut it off so it doesn't suck that up you don't want that in your bottles okay so we've got it all in our bucket now we're ready to start mixing it with our juice concentrate and making our wine coolers the foam on the top is just the sanitizer and that's okay it's going to dissipate in a few minutes Okay, so I've moved the bottling bucket. As you can see, it's got a spout on it. That's how we're going to get the, the sugar wash out into our, into our juice and measure it into our cans. I've got it sitting up on the counter now. And I've got my mixing bucket. This is what we're going to mix it in. And then we're going to take our cans of juice and pour into our bucket. Okay, so we used two cans of our limeade juice. So we're just going to fill up six cans of the sugar wash. We're going to dump that in there. Six cans in there. Move those off to the side. We'll grab our sanitized spoon over here. And we're going to mix that up real good. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my wine thief or what they uses the wine thief. I'm going to use a turkey baster. It works just as good and it's cheaper. And we're going to go ahead and pull a sample out. That's what the wine thief is for is to pull a sample out and I'm going to pour some in my cup here. This is the best part, the sampling part. That's pretty good. We're going to grab our funnel out of the sanitizer here. And I've got some bottles set up here. And then you just stick the funnel in there. And then we're going to go ahead and pour it into the bottle here. Try and do this one handed here without spilling it. And you just fill the bottle. And then once it's full, you take your funnel out and move it to your next bottle and fill it up. And you just continue to do that until you've got all your liquid 
into your bottles. Two cans of juice with the with the six cans of of the sugar wash. We've uh, got eight bottles out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and cap them now. So I've got my cap soaking in my sanitizer here. So we'll go ahead and grab those out. Then we'll just go ahead and set the cap on each bottle here. Whoops. If I can keep them on the bottles. And then we're going to use our two handed uh, capper to press the caps on. So you just take the bottle and you put the capper on there and you press down take it off and then you I kind of turn it about halfway so you get all four sides of the cap and that's it then you have a capped bottle and you just keep going through until all your bottles are capped like I said I like to turn it and get all four sides just to make sure it's on there good and that's how you cap them and then sometimes you spill some or whatever, so I like to take and wipe the bottle down with a clean rag. Clean, wet rag to get the sticky off of the bottles. And then I'll take a towel and just kind of dry them off. For this is the test batch, I'm just going to label them with masking tape and a, and a black marker and just tear it off. Stick it on the bottle here. And then if they turned out to be something that we all really like, then I will go ahead and create some labels for them. But right now, like I said, this is a test batch. I'm just gonna go ahead and label them like this. So we got them bottled and we got what kind it is written on it now. Just store it in this little six pack carrier here. And there you have it. And then we're just going to go ahead and continue to do it with each of, each of the other flavors. So there's been kind of a change in plan. We're not going to do the pineapple or the pink lemonade this time. We're going to try an iced tea instead. Okay, so we ended up with seven flavors. Limeade, a screwdriver, which was orange juice, fruit punch, lemonade, cherry pomegranate, raspberry lemonade, and iced tea. We ended up with 70 bottles in total out of a five gallon batch. Now it's just time to enjoy. I couldn't wait till I was all the way done. Uh, I went ahead and drank one of the screwdriver ones. It's really good. Thanks for watching my videos and uh, subscribing to my page. Cheers. Well, I asked my old pappy why he called his brew. White lightning instead of Mountain Dew. I took a little sip and right away.